Welcome guys to my very first tutorial from this series and um, this tutorial will cover some introduction and that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, I got the same question all over again, like um, I was programming my own game, well I'm still, I'm still actually doing it, but whatever, and people ask me if it's actually possible to make your own game but without any programming knowledge. And uh, good news, if you want to know that yourself, um, yeah, it is possible with uh, so-called templates, which basically are scripts. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you, well, this tutorial will cover the, um, like, how you use this engine. And I will mostly show you the basics, which means you, if you're finished with this series, you could theoretically make a basic uh, shooter game. And without any program knowledge, knowledge of course. So this will be very interesting. Also, this tutorial could be very interesting for those people who can actually program and want to want to use this engine. So um, this video will also cover like what this engine is capable of and stuff like that. So first things first. If you are not a programmer and you don't you do not want to learn how to program, then it's fine. You can create your own game, but it has its limitations. So what kind of limitations do you have? Well, the limitations are um, well, depending on the template, script, whatever you get. Basically, what's happening is if you get a template and you load it up to your project, you will be able to use the game mechanics, which mostly are very basic. So this means if you're making a FPS, you'll be able to run around, you'll shoot things, all the basic stuff, all the good things. But you will not be able to do this advanced stuff like, I don't know, um, slide and some recoil things and something special like that. You will not be able to do something like this because if you're programming something, you're mostly working on game mechanics. And since you're taking a, well, pre-scripted script, uh -huh, then you will actually only be able to use those mechanics which the script gives you. So that means, it doesn't mean like you only have one gun or something like that. Those scripts are um, adjustable. So at that point, it's like you can, you can uh, get a model, tell the script, okay, this is a gun. You can say, all right, this is, I want this to be a machine gun. The bullets have to do so much damage and stuff, stuff like that. But you will not be able to create like something completely new. You will not be able to because that's too advanced. So keep in mind, if you are looking at the series, you will only be able able to like create a basic game. And that's not even a bad thing because um, to be perfectly honest, the most successful games are pretty basic. Unreal Tournament, Counter-Strike, stuff like that. I mean, they are pretty basic and look at their success. I mean, yeah, you don't need to aim down sights. It's about your style. If your uh, game has charm, it's pretty much it. I mean, no one could explain why Counter-Strike is that good. No one would say the graphics are nice or the game mechanics are superb or something like that, because it isn't. But it still has its own charm. And that's why that's why if you're making the game and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this, then um, keep in mind, it's not only about the high-end mechanics. So, just saying. Doesn't mean that new mechanics are bad. That's, I mean, Far Cry 3 has a lot of mechanics and it's awesome. So, don't be fooled. Basically, um, what I'm going to show you now is uh, what you are probably going to make in the first run. And then I'll show you what this engine, well, the newer engine. I'm going to use a older one because, um, quite frankly, I don't want to buy a newer version. Hey, so... What you probably are going to do is uh, something like this. This is a little test level in this game. It's very basic. And um, yeah. Run level. Okay. Come on. There it is. Yeah, it's A5. It's really old. I know. 
So what you can see here is um, some basic stuff like this elevator thingy. Don't come down. Come down to me. Holy shit. I think it's stuck. My elevator. Whatever. Or not. It's gonna... Oh yeah, I know why it's, why it's doing this. Alright, whatever. So it's gonna show you textures, um, shadows, and stuff like that. Uh, also you can make uh, object types, like this is massive, you can go through, but here you can like go through without any problems. So some lighting and shit like that. Um, also some AI kind of thingy, you know, like he's just walking around, whatever. Um, you're able to, well, open and close doors, you can go in if you want to, stuff like this. All right. Can I close it? Yeah, I can even close it again. So if you're making some, well, so something like Splinter Cell, cell that might be nice actually. I don't mind the terrible graphics. So yeah, you can see this is a pre-made thing. It just shows off what you, you basically can do. You need some water and the lift is going down. Okay. So basically, um, just showed you and I know I use the word basically a lot, but it's because it's basic. Don't judge me. So, that's what you're gonna probably make the first run. Like, I don't I don't expect anything more than this, to be honest. Um, as I said, I, I think if you are looking at this tutorial series, I do not expect like pros or something. So, even though I'm, I would be happy if I see some very decent, uh, well games that would be awesome so if you're if you're watching the series and you you are at the point where you're like i'm done uh the game is done then i wouldn't mind if you send it to me because i'm bored i like new games so why not and now i'm going to show you the full potential of the newest engine if you're going to buy the, the latest version you like uh, you like this a lot you're going to program you're going to do everything you want and like then you'll be able to do this and I can sadly not just like run the game and show it to you because this game is on full screen. The problem is I would I would love to put it on um, window mode but the problem is here it's on Turkish. I do not understand the language at all so I have no idea where the options are. I just figured I click away and just suddenly I'm in the game and I'm like oh yeah it's good. Fine. So I'm going to show you guys what you can actually do with this engine. Oh, 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 ball, 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 oh, yeah, there it is. Sobe Studios, I guess it's like that, I, I don't know. So the game is super kind or something, like, I don't know. And you can see A8, that's the engine. There we go. Don't need more proof. Um, yeah. Loading. I hate loading. Loading sucks. So I'm gonna click. If some you, if some of you guys even understand this because you're like Turkish or something like that, um, well, it's a game I recommend. I guess. I mean, I mean, I think it's very fun to play, even though I do not even know what the hell's going on. Um, yep, menu, little guy, just gonna click this and this, and there we are. Apparently, that's the only thing I figured so far. I don't even know how to load the game, and I, I, I like, pfft, don't know. Uh, wait a second, how do you skip? Wait. That's how you skip it. So yeah, basically, look at this. And there's... Yeah, how you move around. I figured out myself. As you can see, graphics, pretty nice animations. Shut up, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. And, yeah. Laser sword thingy, you can't go wrong with that. So basically, yeah. Pretty fun game, neat graphics, if you speak Turkish or you do not even speak Turkish, you just think it's probably a nice game, then I would definitely recommend this. Whoa. By the way, they are fucking mean. Ah. 
So as you can see, animations are very good. AI is so far not good, but they will increase, so don't worry. Uh. Shut up. Get away. Ah. So yeah, I think this is enough for the first fucking... Holy shit, they can take a lot. Ow. Fuck you! Die, bitch. Alright, so, um, basically... I said it again. I should be ashamed. What happened? A bomb? Time? Oh yeah, this shit. Um, puzzle game thingy. So yeah, you could do a lot of shit. I think that's it. Let's turn back to our editor. So we're back to this thing. So uh, yeah, that was all I gotta show you guys. If you're interested, just keep on following. If not, don't. Eh, there we go. For uh, that's, well, for that, I just fucking made a third cut. That was stupid. All right, whatever, I can take it. So um, I hope you enjoyed. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next video or next part. Whatever. Bye.